Today is the Universal Day Against Child Labor. Pakistan's constitution forbids our children under 14 from undertaking hazardous work. Our constitution also commits the state to providing education for all children up to the age of 16. Therefore, Pakistan as a state is committed to ensuring that there will be no child labor according to international laws, including ILO laws, and also including the International Convention on the Rights of the Child, to which Pakistan is a party. This government is committed to preserving and furthering human rights, and the human rights of child come foremost in that. Our government has finally established the National Commission on the Rights of the Child, which had been pending since 2017, despite the law on child rights having been passed. We are now committed to ending exploitation of child labor wherever it happens. We want to end uh, the uh, abuse of children in domestic environments, especially little children in homes where they're treated like slaves. This is unacceptable according to the law, according to our constitution, and also according to our international commitments. The rights of the child have to be asserted because this is the future generation that will take this nation forward. And the important message I want to give is the government or state alone cannot ensure the protection of child rights except through the law. But unless the nation as a whole changes its mindset, only then will crimes stop being committed. The state can punish the crimes, but the state cannot ensure by itself that every citizen changes its mindset and respects the rights of the child and learns to value children as our national assets who will take the country forward into the future. And we have to then decide what sort of generation do we want to raise which will take our nation forward into the future. Clearly, there is no room in a progressive democratic state for abuse and killing and exploitation of children.